टुडे लेट्स सी कैलकुलस सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद लिमिट सो वट इज लिमिट लिमिट ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एग्जिस्ट इफ द वैल्यू एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए लेफ्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड ऑन द जस्ट राइट ऑफ एफ ए इज इक्वल सो वी विल जस्ट सी मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ इट विल बी मोर क्लियर सो एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए सो वी हैव दिस वैल्यू एफ ए एंड जस्ट लेफ्ट ऑफ एफ ए वी हैव दिस वैल्यू एफ ए माइनस एच एंड जस्ट राइट ऑफ दिस वैल्यू वी हैव अ वैल्यू एफ ए प्लस एच एंड एच इज वेरी स्मॉल सो दीज दीज पॉइंट्स विल मर्ज so limit exists when the just left hand side and the just right hand side of a value a of function is same so let's see more about it so and apart if the limit left hand limit and the right hand limit is equal and also the value of function fx at x equal to a is equal to the limits then we can say that the function fx is continuous so what is this continuous means that this function does not has any break like it is continuous it has no breaks see this like this like this function means the it is very continuous what is break if suppose there is comes a break there is a like point missing then that is called a break so these types are called continuous function so what is the uh, condition of continuous function the left hand limit right hand limit equal, should equal to the value at the function at that point x a okay so here you can see a example so here this is a function fx so on the the at a, f a the value is here at a min a plus h the value is here somewhere here and at a minus h f a plus h value is here so we can see that here f a minus h is not equal to f a plus h so the left hand limit and right hand limit is not equal so we will we know that it is not limit does not exist and if limit does not exist then how can it be continuous so here the it the value is also not equal to fa so it will be not be continuous also so you can see so similarly if you see this graph so here you can see a continuity in the graph so this is a continuous function and limit also exist because at left hand side and right hand side both the values are e almost equal and these points are merging so here limit and continuity both exist so now see what is differentiable function so any function is said to be differentiable at a point x equal to a if it has a unique tangent or unique slope so mathematically it can be written as f dash a plus h is equal to f dash a minus h which means that the left hand derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative or you can say that the left hand tangent is equal to the right hand tangent so you should get both the tangent at same this should be a unique tangent so so continuous curve without any sharp edge or a corner is differentiable so what we do we mean by this so whenever we have a continuous curve which don't has a uh, sharp edge or doesn't has a corner is always differentiable so you can take the example of this curve so here it does not has any sharp edge so it is always differentiable and each at each point we will get a unique tangent see at each each point you will get a unique tangent let's see another example so here a continuous curve with corners or sharp edges is not differentiable like you can see these two examples so here you can see a sharp edge sharp edge over here so at the sharp edge you will get two tangents so one tangent makes angle theta 1 and the other tangent makes an angle theta 2 similarly here also you get two tangents here you get one tangent horizontal and one tangent vertical so you can find two tangent and when you get two tangents at one point so you can say that it is not differentiable you should always get a unique tangent at a differentiable point so i hope this may have cleared your concept of limit continuity and differentiability